hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to get started with visual studio 2022 community latest edition so i'm going to google visual studio 2022 community edition the first link that i get i'm going to click on it now i'm on microsoft visual studio web portal so i can download it from here or i can scroll down and i can see the various options that i have for learning purpose it is free so i'm going to download this free visual studio community edition so i'll click on this download and it should start downloading the executable file so you can see that over here so it has started downloading so i got my executable file now let me close this now i'm going to go to the file explorer i'll download go to downloads i'll run this setup file exe i'll say run so it should make all initial setup and i'll say continue now it has uh, you know started installing or making the initial setup now from here i can select the packages that i want to install so as of now i'm working with asp.net so web development i'll select that single package now if you want some other packages you can scroll down and you can see the packages that you need you have windows development and if you want azure and if you want office so you can select all the packages that you want now i'm going with asp.net and web development so it requires more than 7 gb so that's it this is a single selection we need so i'll say install now now it should start installation downloading and installation both the things happen simultaneously you definitely need an internet connection so i'm going to give a small pause so that the complete installation happens now it has installed visual studio successfully now it should uh, give me a launch window So okay, we will reboot it later on. No problem for now. I'll say okay. So I can launch it from here. So let me close this first. Now I can get my Visual Studio from Start menu. So you have Visual Studio 2022. What I will do? Uh, you can also look in the folder. So here you have Visual Studio. Now I'll just pin it to the taskbar. The way in which we have pinned. SQL Server Management Studio, same way, I'll pin it to the taskbar. So let it go to the second position. Now we are all set to you now start our Visual Studio. So I'll click on this Visual Studio. It will take a little while to you know pop up this window. So I need to sign in with my Microsoft account if I have. So it is good. If you do not sign in, so you can use it for 30 days. So after 30 days, it will ask for you to sign in. So I'll better sign in with my uh, microsoft account if you have any microsoft account if you have a hotmail account even you know you will use that so i need to give my email address and password so i'm, I'm going to use this account everywhere on this device so for this visual studio i'll say next now it will take a while to configure the things so now you should see a Visual Studio 2022 startup window. So from here you can uh, you know get started with your project. So anyway, we are going to learn all these things in the bootcamp. As of now, I'm going to just demonstrate one simple application to see if everything is working fine or not. So I have created a new project. So here you can select the programming language C sharp and the platform we are targeting Windows. And if I select cloud, so for web development I can select cloud. So you have various project templates you can choose whatever you want sp.net core and framework no I, I want to go for console app so from here i'll select console so you have both the options you can go with core or you can go for, with old framework so i'll go with core next so let it be as is so next now you can see that we are using dotnet 8 latest version 
and if you want you can uh, check this so top level statement it will avoid uh, the latest approach of coding so you will uh, go with your old approach of coding so now let us move with latest approach of coding I'll, I will not check anything I'll say next now it should uh, be ready with the project so you have program files so direct see top level statement you can direct start writing your code so i'll change the font size now i'll just go for the message instead of hello world say welcome to mtt coding bootcamp now you can run this in debug mode so control f5 control plus f5 so it should display the message you can increase this font size with control and scroll up press control and scroll your mouse up that's it you get the good size so we are all set with our visual studio and we are ready to work with the latest version of visual studio and sql server hope uh, you have enjoyed this video thank you very much have a nice day.